Welcome, I'm Kinetic Symphony. I hunt down and report on weird and mysterious true stories, from glitches to the paranormal. Case file number 790, written by Revnia. My somersault animation was stuck on loop. This glitch happened when I was in high school, a few years back. My friend and I were being little butts and messing with the neighbor's inflatable kiddie pool and I did a somersault into the pool using one of those plastic slides for toddlers. When I started rolling, it felt like time froze for me. Everything went completely still and it seemed like my vision was coated with this bright milky filter. It didn't look like anything was moving or spinning, I was completely stuck. I shook my head and my vision immediately went back to normal. I looked over to my friend and she was staring at me with her mouth open and I remember the most terrified, how the hell did you do that, ever. To her, it looked like I was stuck in a weird loop where I froze in place and was doing some somersault seamlessly. I guess sort of like when you make a video game character walk into a wall or a dead end. They keep walking or running and rolling etc, but they aren't actually going anywhere but the walking animations are all the same. Nothing like this ever happened again. My friend and I never brought it up again, it was too weird. Also, no history of epilepsy. Case notes for file 790. My somersault animation was stuck on loop. So an interesting thought I had, if we live in a simulation, all of our characters, um, our bodies, the physical manifestation in the world, they're inanimate by default and they're animated by us the um, life force that connects to it. You know, think of uh, controlling a character in The Sims. Without the player that's in the real world controlling it, it doesn't do anything, or at least it has no life. It can imitate it. You have things that are alive, at least as we consider it, viruses, plants, and so on. They have intelligence in a sense, but they have no sentience, self-awareness, or ability to act of their own will. Now, if all this is true, then... It's presumed that any action we take has to be programmed in the universe, so animations and so on. So maybe your animation literally was just stuck on loop, uh, replayed for some reason. The universe just wasn't able to process that request at that immediate moment for some reason. It makes sense, there's games like EVE Online where if a certain amount of people are congregated in a specific spot, um, in effect, the server processing power dynamically loads for that specific area and other places have less processing power. So if something was really intensely happening at that moment when you were doing the somersault, there just wasn't enough processing power available in that node to effectuate the animation. So you were frozen for a small amount of time. Pretty interesting. And a bit disturbing, really. <laughs> you hope they upgrade the servers a bit. <laughs> Creepy file number 52, written by, well this is weird, 20, The Cult of Dirt Dance and Death. I, 28 female, have lived in the same apartment for 4 years. My neighbors in the unit above me are a couple in their 30s who have lived there for about 3 years with no issues between us. During the past 6 months, I've noticed some changes in their behaviors. At first, it was just a few days per week. I'd hear music with heavy bass, accompanied by rhythmic jumping. I just assumed they bought an exercise bike or something, but sometimes the jumping gets so intense that it shakes my overhead light fixtures. The jumping routine has been escalating to the point that it takes place every day, normally between 8am and 10am. I also noticed that they called 1-800-JUNK and got rid of a lot of nice possessions. However, I figured none of this was my business, so I kept my observations to myself. About three weeks ago, everything escalated. Multiple times per week, on weekdays and during working hours, it sounds like they're hosting a mini Burning Man event in their apartment. The music is so loud and clear that it sounds as if I'm at a concert while sitting in my own living room. There's clearly a lot of people involved because the jumping and stomping shakes multiple light fixtures and cabinets. The music is a mix of new age slash spiritual vibes, dance beats, and a male voiceover giving weird instructions like rebrand yourself, surrender yourself, stomp stomp in response. I've taken audio recordings on my phone and one video from the hallway during these events. I still didn't complain to the building but I wanted evidence in case it became a regular thing. 
This week, I've encountered a big problem. The couple above me has a private patio, which is directly above my bedroom. I came home from a three-day trip out of town yesterday, and my ceiling is legitimately collapsing in one corner. Big chunks of plaster had fallen to the ground, and I saw a little water. I immediately called my superintendent since I don't want to be buried alive by my ceiling rubble if it gives out. When he came to check it out, he was shocked and pissed. He said that the woman and the couple appears to be working with some people, doing workshops or something. He can see their patio from his apartment window and has watched the group do these dancing plus jumping plus dirt rituals out there on a weekly basis. He said they all dance and jump to the music and then spread dirt along with something else he doesn't know what it is, across the patio on a weekly basis. He believes that the dirt plus unknown substance combo is getting through the wooden cracks, absorbing water and weighing down my ceiling. In order to fix the problem, my super said he had to go talk to the woman, check out their patio and ultimately hire a contractor to pull up the wood to scrape out whatever the hell is causing my ceiling to fall in. I could hear them talking from my room, and the woman sounded distraught and defensive. When my super left, he called me and warned me that she might try to come down to my apartment and demand to see the damage, but don't let her in. This was a little concerning to me. Is she a threat? The damage is real, I wouldn't mind showing her. She started playing her music again, relatively loudly, kind of like a warning shot. I mentioned the music and jumping to the super and said I had audio recordings. He started begging me to send the evidence to the front office. It sounds like he wants them evicted. I said okay sure, I hate to be a rat, but if I have to choose sides I'll side with the building that dictates my annual rent price. He called me twice more that afternoon to confirm that I shared my evidence and I said yes. Shortly after everything went down, I left my apartment to run an errand. The woman was outside just standing on the sidewalk and stared at me the whole time as I walked by. I ignored her. This isn't my fault. Now today, I went to run another quick errand in the neighborhood. When I returned, the couple was again standing on the sidewalk, both of them this time, followed me into the building and then waited until I was opening my apartment door to confront me. They were both wearing creepy fake smiles. The woman has horse girl hair down to her waist and started interrogating me. They asked, Is your ceiling really collapsing? When did it start? Do you think it was related to the recent rainfall? Because our patio is just fine. I was a little uncomfortable. Were they waiting for me outside? How did they know I even left the building? Why were they both standing there? I've literally never seen them enter together in their three years of living here. But I have nothing to hide so I confirm the damage is pretty bad. I just don't want it to fall during the winter. I'm sorry for the inconvenience but hopefully the work will be done quickly for everyone's sake. They seemed satisfied enough so I said have a good day and shut my door. I'm getting the sense that they're nervous about what the contractors will find when they tear open the patio. What the hell is up with the dirt rituals? Who are these people she's working with? I don't know what they look like or why they're available to stomp around on weekdays. The repair work has started on both sides but the contractors will come on Wednesday for the grand reveal of what's under the patio that's making my ceiling collapse. In the meantime, I feel like I need to be alert and keep my eyes out for these people, as well as the couple. It's unusual for me to see them in general, especially twice in two days. They seem scared and in denial of the problem. They also literally ambush me. The contractors came today and reported that there was in fact dirt and sludge visible below the neighbor's patio. However, thanks to the help of my internet sleuthing friend, I've gained a lot more insight into the realm that dwells above me. Someone suggested that my neighbor is affiliated with multiple ecstatic dance communities both international and local. The international group has planned events during which all cells of the organization host dance sessions simultaneously. It also has a YouTube channel that streams psy trance music 24-7. I listened to a portion of it and a female voiceover declared, You are becoming the Game Master. Meanwhile, the local groups seem to be more exclusive and more radical in their mindset. One of the local groups, hosted by my neighbor's good friend, conducts 3-day events that cost upwards of $400 for admission. 
Participation in all three days is mandatory. I get the impression they all sleep in the studio space, and the event description mentions that it begins with a ritual. The last and darkest affiliation that I've confirmed via social media footprints is that my neighbor and a few members of the local communities are also involved with some compassionate death groups. There's no way for me to verify at this time if these affiliations overlap in a meaningful way, so I will simply state the facts that I have evidence to prove. My super asked me about the jumping again when I saw him today. He remains eager to act. He agreed with my new game plan to wait for another large event to happen, and then call him to check on my dishwasher so he can intervene. So for now, the ways in which the puzzle pieces of ecstatic dance, compassionate death, patio, dirt rituals, and ceiling collapse connect will remain a mystery. Case Notes for the Creepy File Number 52 The Cult of Dirt, Dancing, and Death yeah, so real quick on this one, I uh, just want to say that it's very unique as story goes, and uh, I've never had neighbors as crazy as this. Yeah, you get your Pilates groups and Tupperware moms and so on, but uh, never dirt. I mean, what's with the dirt? It's like a hippie cult of some sort. I have to look into this a bit more, but uh, yeah, Psy Trance, Dirt Cult, Death Groups. <laughs> what a world we live in, huh? 